Some good snow up there. We need lots more. Anyway, I sold my KTM 500. Um, loved it. Did lots of trips on it, but on the highway for longer trips, it was a bit uh, numbing. So I ended up picking up a 2021 Yamaha Tenere 700, the new T7. And uh, these are my first impressions of it. I bought a used, and it was fairly well set up. Came with a bunch of stuff on it, like the pannier rack, skid plate, upper lower crash bars. Um, I think I'll switch those out for a different style that I like, a little more sleek and not as heavy. Came with stock tires, I promptly switched those out. Made a huge difference on the dirt. I went with the um, Midas E10 Dakar in the back. And in the front, I went with a golden tire and a super knobby, but I love it. What else? Came with a tank bag with giant loop, which I use anyway, so it's awesome. The stock seat, too low. I'm 6'4", have the pad on there for comfort, but I did order a rally seat um, just to raise myself up a bit. So hopefully that'll be showing up. Stock pegs without the rubber on them are not that great. So I'll be getting something else there. And then the muffler sits real low to the ground and if you tip it over, potential of bending this part here, rubbing into the subframe. So I'll get the Camel ADV new fender kit. It's coming out, I think this week, out of Canada. They make some great stuff. I have their tail tidy on order to clean up that junky rear end. Um, so the things I've added to it, I put the Oxford heated grips. Well worth the money. Super hot. Awesome. The T7 rally bar clamp up top so I can add some stuff. And then just the Tusk bark busters. Cheap and uh, they're solid. And then I put the Pro Taper high rise handlebars on there. Just for my height helped out a bit and I'll get rid of the stock mirrors put something else on double take or I have the Rottweiler fold out ones from another bike that I'll probably put on let's see what else yeah I'll put a heavier spring on the back and revalve the front for my style of riding the bike feels pretty good it's well just so everyone, I'm, I'm sure everyone knows, it's still a giant, big, heavy bike. There's no getting around that, you know. I've had a KTM 1190. I've had every big bike, and this is another big bike. So it's not going to replace a 500 or a 690 or a 701 or, you know, if you're getting it to replace those, um, it's going to do way better on the highway. But in the dirt, it's not going to even come close. It's pretty good in the dirt. Um, and I got it just because I'm going to be doing longer, longer trips and highway and it's super comfortable on the highway. And then when you get to the, you know, BDR style stuff, it, it does totally fine. It's fun. It's flickable, capable, no complaints. If you're looking to do harder, harder stuff, you can, but picking it up's a bummer and there will be another 500 or 690 someday in the quiver for for the in-between single track and BDR style stuff. So, so far, I love how this bike looks. It performs really, really well on the highway. Um, feels like, almost like a street bike. It's really, it's just fun. Fast, flicks around, and then on the dirt, no complaints yet. I haven't had it much for a long time, so I'll, I'm sure I'll dump it over and mess around, but it's a little lighter than the 1190 I had. And I took that on a bunch of BDRs and Baja. And so I'm excited to try this on some of that stuff. Anyway, let's go do a little bit of riding. All right. We're at a little bit of dirt. So uh, first things first, just press that button. 
ABS is off, it says off-road right there. Good to go. Such a good bike to stand on. It feels really natural standing. It basically feels like a dirt bike. Yeah, it's a little sandy here. So at this point, I just have a big smile going. This bike is really fun. Fits me perfect. It's got a great power band. Um, chugs along. When you hit the throttle, it opens up. The sound of that exhaust is amazing. Um, sorry you can't hear it. My audio sucks, so there you go. But trust me, if you have a chance to ride this bike, just go ride it. It's it's super simple, just has ABS, nothing fancy, very basic. It looks cool, and it's a blast. In my original upload, the audio was absolutely horrendous, so here's my attempt at a voiceover. This bike is awesome in the dirt. I'm just doing forest service roads, going fast, I'm standing up. I'm 6'4". This bike fits me perfect, so if you're a tall rider, the ergonomics on this bike are amazing. I even have a little taller handlebars, and it I feel like I'm on just a very powerful dirt bike. Um, fits great. No complaints. Hard to skid the back tire. It just grips. It's, it's a great bike. And always be alert for the deer ahead. So a lot of people have been complaining about the front dash with all the gauges. That it shakes a lot when you're riding hard and it's hard to see. Uh, bounces around. I haven't noticed that problem. Right here I'm going around 40, 45 on a bumpy road and not much movement at all. Um, plus I don't look at the dash that much when I'm off-road. I'm a focused ahead. So I know Camel ADV makes um, some bar mounts that'll shop, stop any shake but I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Um, once you're on the highway you notice zero shake it's it's super smooth so I think there's a reason it moves around keep the insides nice and uh, stop them from getting shaken up anyway then when you're back on the highway press that again ABS ABS is on and we hit the tarmac Do not pass. Well, I'll say one thing. This bike has no problem passing anything on the highway. It doesn't have the power of some of the other bikes, but yeah, if you want to pass someone, not a problem. Dead, you hear? 
suspension I'm 200 probably with gear 220 and that was fully off the ground See the river down there, sort of. Tell something. Yeah, this bike is really fun. I think it's a keeper. It's gonna be my longer trips, BDRs, Arctic Circle. This one I need to ride some highway to get to dirt. Impressive, especially when I do a few more mods. But first impressions, two thumbs up. some